Good afternoon, everybody. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Monique's Jewels. I'm coming on with a sterling video with some really beautiful pieces. I have some new things to show you. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be wonderful. You guys have been doing wonderful. We're close to 600. I keep saying that, but we really are. We're getting there. And we will do a fabulous giveaway. So if anybody is watching that's not subscribed, it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay for anything. You won't be promoted as far as me sending you any information or an email. I don't do that. Um, if for s something unforeseen comes up, maybe I would email you and let you know. If I go on vacation or something, I'll probably send out an email and say, I'll see you in a week. But otherwise, yeah, I won't bug you. So, if you guys want to sit back and relax, get you a glass of tea, a cup of coffee, we'll get started here. I also have vintage that I will probably process this evening. I might go ahead and end this video um, as far as the sterling goes and start right up on the vintage and get that done for tonight and just upload it later on this evening. So if you have any questions or comments, email me at moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com or um, you can say hello in the comments. We just don't purchase anything through the comments. We um, go ahead and just shoot me an email if you're interested in an item, use your timestamp and which video it is. I usually only go back about five to seven days as far as being able to um, ship you something that's still in my inventory. My inventory is usually up in about seven days because I do jewelry bags, wearable lots and craft lots. And sometimes I will actually take the uh, wearable lots and craft lots to a friend that distributes them to people that don't have jewelry. So here we go. And like I said, I hope everyone's doing well. I know it's very stormy on the southern coast, um, Texas, Mississippi. So I hope everybody's safe there. Also, it's moving into Alabama and probably Florida here soon this evening. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is this beautiful, it's Honora or Honora Pearls. And, um, sorry about that. Let me do something here, guys. Let me cut this down. All the way down. There we go. Yeah, okay. Set it over there. Um, this is an ombre effect almost. You have the dark, kind of a burnish brown gold tone. Then you have a lighter kind of a taupe. You've got a little pink. You've got a little creamy white that matches the earrings. These are kind of a, what they call a coin pearl. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's a circle, but it's kind of a smooshed little mushroom shape, maybe even. Um, I love that shape. If you can see in those there. I'm hoping my lighting's okay. This is the actual, um, sterling clasp here and it does have the H but it's very small. I think it's actually etched into the oh it's so tiny. It is actually on the 925 let's see here. It's actually on the clasp right here. The little, it says 925, but there's a capital H. So, there, you can see that really well now. Um, these are like for Easter, but they're also for any other time. And this set with the earrings, I'm going to go ahead and put 30 on it. It should be more, but I would like for somebody to have these. So, we'll do 30. I'll get you a measurement here. 
I'm pretty sure these are just right at 16. Yes, these are 16 inches. Okay. I'm trying to see what that reflection is here. Hold on just a minute. Oh, I do see what it is. Hmm. I hope you guys can't see it, but I sure can. It's reflecting off of something over here to the side, but I don't think you guys can see it. So we'll put this over here. That's when you have an extra light. Sometimes you get reflections off your screen, and it's kind of a pain, but it's not that big a deal. It's like you can put a um, something white there. It's not seen. It's still kind of bad. Isn't that crazy? Well, I'm not going to worry about it. Let me set that there. Much better. Okay. So, I have a super surprise. Um, and I'll show that to you right after I show you the James Avery. I've definitely shown this one before. It comes in its own dust bag. It has its little... This package brightens your day. It has a thank you card in there that I put in there. This one is actually got the um, little logo. This has its own little jewelry pouch. And this little baby is heavy. It is marked on the chain as a James Avery. And also there's the candelabra. J.A. Candelabra and 925 right there. And it is absolutely gorgeous. This is such a beautiful silver that's in this heart. Hold on here. Let me give you a measurement. It measures at yeah, the chain is 18 inches. Well, let's see, 16. It's about 17. No, it's almost 18 inches because I'm forgetting it goes down around the, the heart. So the heart is a nice little piece. It is not, I have a heart pendant, but it's twice as heavy as that one. Isn't it beautiful? Like I said, I'm trying a new light lighting trick. So even the chain says James Avery on it. So it is gorgeous. That's the back. This is the front. So I think for this one, I know about how much they're going for online, but I think I'll put 65 on it. And that's probably as low as I'll ever go on this one because it goes for quite a bit more and I would love for somebody to have this. I'll put it back into its pouch. Isn't that sweet? Very nice. Put it back into its pouch and put it back into its plastic because I don't want to get in must. It would not be good. Okay. So it will come in this just like this with a bubble wrap bag. Okay, so huh, what I've got is Carolyn Pollock and uh, Judith Ripka. Okay, I had a bracelet and I sold it. Um, and this is the ring. I'll show it to you. This is the heart. And the these are the Diamondique CZs. And this one is super heavy, not heavy, but heavy coated sterling. It's a beautiful set. It actually says Judith Ripka on the inside of the band, Judith Ripka 925. And then I think on this side it says Thailand. Um, this one is a size, let's see here, right in an eight. Let's do this. Right 
a size 8. Isn't that beautiful? But look at the work on that. It's so nice and heavy. It's not slight. It's not a slight ring, but it's very, it's just very comfortable. I don't know if it'll fit over here. Almost. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the CZs on that. So this is going for 75. It's just gorgeous. So there's not much more to say about it, except it's a Judith Ripka and it's a beauty. And I was so glad to get it in a, in a bigger size, not a size five or six. Okay, next we have a stackable set of Carolyn Pollock. There are a couple of different markings for Carolyn Pollock. She actually, this ring here is called Relios which was her husband's design from what I gather. His designs have the uh, crescent with the R. It's like an R for Relios. And I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it means a moon in Spanish. I'm not sure. But this one has a marking. And then the little rings have a marking that almost looks like a C and a J. So I was very, very, like, freaked out by it. Um, so I went ahead and took a picture so I can show it to you. Um, okay, this is the Rilios. Am I saying it right? Rilios jewelry was founded in 1975 by Bill Pollock in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Bill's wife, Carolyn, was his head jewelry designer. Works primarily in sterling silver, producing southwestern style jewelry. So it is a R and the crescent moon. This is the mark that is it's still Carolyn Pollock. It's just the Relios, um, like it's a line of jewelry. And that is this one here. Now these are actually marked a little different. And they are marked with the C P. To me that looks like a C G or C J E, but it's not. It's, that is the Carolyn Pollock signature. So if you see that on a piece, you know you've got a nice piece. Um, I can get a hold of practically any piece you want. I have a friend that's got a huge set of Carolyn Pollock, probably 250 pieces. And I can just walk in there. <laughs> she lets me go back and look through the... Oh my goodness, you would not believe some of the pieces she has. They are absolutely gorgeous. So, let's start on the stackers. These are a size... These are all like the same size. These are right at a seven and a quarter, almost a seven and a half. So we have the turquoise, coral, and lapis here. I don't know if you're getting a good picture of these. Let's see, let's take it back out for a minute. Turquoise, lapis. And this mark on here is super small, but it's readable. And these just say 925 with the CJ, CP, sorry, I'm saying it again. And I'm trying to see if these say Thailand or anything, but they don't. So we've got this, for, they're seven and a quarter. So we've got the first one is lapis, turquoise, and coral with the V design. Okay. The second one, which is the same size, let me set that down, is also lapis coral and turquoise, but it's in a, a more of a square, and this has a tiny bit of mother of pearl. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Also Carolyn Pollock. And this third one is all coral, and it has the 
coral um, that is kind of blending into white at the very edge. These are just beautiful. Isn't that nice? Okay, and the mark on this is the C and the P. Okay, and it's two times, I wish I could show you, but it looks exactly like the one. So these stack. I think you guys have seen me with them on. Let's see if I can get a really good shot of these. Aren't those gorgeous? So I'm gonna have to sell them like I bought them. So there are three of them. So they are all gonna be the same price, but this is for each. These are 32 a piece. Okay, and if somebody wanted to buy all three of them, you just have to kind of let me know. We'd have to see whose name came up first. If somebody wants just one, we'll have to see. So if somebody wants all three, email me, and we'll do a good price for you. But otherwise, they're $32 apiece. And we have the coral, the triangle, three a lapis coral and turquoise and the square okay seven and a quarter just beautiful rings the sterling on them is gorgeous look at that just gorgeous I was so happy to get them but I didn't buy them for me I bought them to sell <laughs> okay this next one is of course the relios relios the mark on this one is the crescent and the R. This is a huge ring. It is thick. It is beautiful. It is lapis and turquoise, Carolyn Pollock, the Relios line. Isn't that gorgeous? It has the actual design that I love. It's not sawtooth, but it is fabulous. I can get you to see, but I will show you the inside right there is where is the C and the, I mean the moon and the R is right there. So if you guys have ever seen that, you better find them, pull them back out because they're worth a lot more than what you thought. Um, so this one right here is 85. And I've seen it for more, a lot more. And like I said, I have to price it in order for me to make my money back. Okay, last but not least, this is so pretty. This is also Carolyn Pollock. This is so pretty. The mark on this one is also Relios. It is the... Crescent and the R. Let's see, do I have it? There we go. It's like the crescent and the R. Right there. And I've already tested it, but I'll test it again. Look at that purple and green. You've got the purple and green cabochons. They actually tested as amethyst and jade. So I'm not sure. But they're rounded. And they are gorgeous. So we'll do the purple one first. And it goes to Aunt. It's so hard. Here, I'll do it like this. So there's amethyst. And we're going to do the green one. And it, sorry. Oh boy. Hold on here. There we go. So it goes up also. So we know they're stones. They're little cabochons. They are just gorgeous. I'll show it to you up close and personal. This is just a very, very nice piece. And it's on a box chain, 16 inch. 
it's just a um, Italy 925 piece there. This would just be such a fabulous addition, especially anyone that likes Southwest, Southwestern, Carolyn Pollock. Let's see if I can get it in a better light. Yeah, this is gorgeous. So we'll also put 85 on this one. And um, that beautiful, that set, I was just so thrilled with it. I was like, yes, very, very nice. So let me pull them over to the side a bit. Don't forget it's Monique's Jewels too at gmail.com. We're trying to enhance some some new subscribers so if anybody is watching that hasn't subscribed we would definitely love to have you we are going to do some more here now these are beautiful and they will have some nice backs on them i have silicone backs that are fabulous we have lapis and look at that these are gorgeous okay let me look at the back real quick these are actually made in where am I? China. There is a cartouche, but you know what? I cannot figure out what it is. Um, hold on here. It looks like a flower cartouche, but my goodness, it could be a little bit of anything. Um, It looks like a box and a heart. I, I just, I have no idea. But I'll show you the back. It has the line through there to um, secure the stone so that it does not crack because it is kind of an oval, a half moon, so to speak. So these are gorgeous. These are 35. And that's only because they're a little bit smaller. So they're going to sit on your ear just like that not like that hopefully just like this they're about a three-quarter or a, what would that be a third three-fifths or something of a circle just about half okay so we're gonna put 35 on the lapis then we have the beautiful turquoise, beautiful. It is the most gorgeous greener colored stone that I've seen. These are, these are marked um, 925. Let's see here. Oh, I have no idea. Just a little smushy looking cartouche. <laughs> at least we know they're marked. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at the color on this. Aren't those beautiful? Yeah, these are gorgeous. They are a teardrop shape that is in a little bit of a curve. Let me see if you can see it better. Um, there's the back. It is just beautiful. There's that. And these are, let's see, I have a ring that's very similar that I'll show you next. This ring has the same kind of a green, but this has some more blue in it. And it is gorgeous also. But I'm gonna have to put 38 on these and that's probably not making me anything, but that's okay. These are gorgeous. So those will be 38. Those are both about an inch. Let's see. They are about, yeah, curved up. That's about an inch. And this one is also a little less, probably maybe I would say four fifths of an inch, almost. Okay, next we will do this beauty. 
look at that. At the top. You know, I never knew I could do that until yesterday. <laughs> Man, iPads and iPhones are new for me. Okay, this is seven and three quarters. I love the scroll work on the, it's like a little scroll with the dots on the ends. This is an older set like I had back in the day when I was a little girl, except they were, you know, smaller. They were not quite as big as this one. It has a, the stone is about an inch, just a little bit over an inch. You have a triple Y, a double Y, I would say, here. It's a very nice band on the back. It's not thin, but it's not super thick. Um, yeah, this is really, really nice. So there's that one there. And we're gonna put 40 on it. It's vintage plus a beautiful color of turquoise. Very unusual. I'm trying to get you to see, there we go, the vein. You can see the veining, then you can see the blue, and then you can see the green. Very, very pretty. So we'll put that one here. And it does match the earrings enough to where it looks like it matches, you know. Okay, next we have, um, I think this was toted, touted as um, Mother of Pearl, but I honestly think it's Moonstone or what is white lapis and see because of the flash I don't believe it's um, mother of pearl I do believe it's moonstone and all moonstone is because all moonstones have that flash it's white lap I mean what I say lapis for it's white labradorite duh isn't that beautiful this ring I love I don't want to give it up but I didn't buy it for me. Isn't that beautiful with the leaf design? I've seen this design before, but I think I saw it with turquoise. But this has got a moonstone. It is so pretty. It is right at a six and a half. And it's beautiful. And this is 50. That nice. I cannot remember what it said. As a matter of fact, I don't think it said anything on this that I can see because it does have some tarnish. Yeah, I don't remember seeing anything. Hold on, let me look, guys. We're doing great on time. Yeah, this is definitely, oh, this piece is probably as old as me, which is saying something. Ode. No. I know it's got to be in that little groove, but I can't see anything. But it's sterling. Isn't it beautiful with the double dots? So we're going to put 50 on that one. It's, it's a little heavier. It's not super heavy. I'm so glad they put this band on it instead of a real heavy band. So it's more dainty than you would think, even though it's bigger. Okay, next, I've got a beautiful piece, and I know you guys saw it. This is Mother of Pearl. It just needed a little um, bath, a little oil, because it was so dry and dull. I've cleaned it up a little bit, but unfortunately, when I purchased it, it was broken, and I didn't know it. So, it cost, it didn't cost that much to get them fixed anymore. For sterling, it's about 20 so I thought I'd put $30 on this. Look at the designing, the leaf design, the dots, the scroll work. It's just gorgeous. I'll show you the back. Um, I was pretty sure this was more, hold on here. I looked at it and I was like, I wonder if they cut or cut the, um, cartouche off. It's right in the center in the back. Yeah, I don't see anything on this one. 
And I, I know you guys say that when I'm, oh, yes, there is. There's a, it's cursive and R and a P. It's like cursive R, like the R, but it's in dots. It's really cool. I don't know if I can get you guys to see it or not. It is so tiny. Let's see here. Now. It's on this edge. I was on the right edge. So there's like an R and a P. Isn't that cool? Here it is. Okay, so in order to fix it, it's going to cost you about 20, but I thought I'd put 30 on it. And if somebody wants it, it can be sized up one size, is what I was told. And since this one's already split, I think this could go to a nine. Let me show you. Yeah, I think that could go to a nine. I think they could fix it. But it could also go to an eight. It depends on what you want to put it on. So instead of me fixing it, I thought you, if somebody really wanted it because it's gorgeous, I would let them do that. They could wear it as is. Just be careful because it will pinch you. Okay? Oh, this ring is so beautiful. Okay. Okay, calm down, woman. Okay. We have a bezel set. Nice, heavy sterling. I'll show you the back first. Blue lace agate. Look at the bezel. Look at the bell. Look at the... <laughs> Gosh, this thing is so thick and beautiful. The back, you can see the stone. Yeah, you guys let me know about my lighting. Look at that thing. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's nice and heavy. I'm not real sure about the maker on this one. This one's definitely older, too. Yeah, there's one mark there. All I see is 925. I don't see a maker. This is right at... This is right at a 9. Let's see if I turn it. No, it's 8 and 3 quarters. Let's just put 8 and 3 quarters because it's so thick. It's right before the 9. Isn't that gorgeous? So, this is 60. And if you want to know why, it's because I paid 42 for it. So, that's so you'll know how much sterling and rings and different things are going for now. I can't get them. I have to pay up big time for this beautiful sterling. You know, so I don't want anybody to think I'm trying to just be ridiculous here and then this beautiful piece has that kind of like the transposed turquoise and coral and it's a double arrow with a circle at the very top with little lines there as a design this has the little dots it's got one dot missing i just noticed that but it doesn't detract from the piece see what's on this one I don't even know if this one has a mark um, I see some marks but I can't tell what they are um, yeah I'm not sure but it's definitely sterling it's a beautiful piece so we'll put 40 on this one it is actually, this one's right at seven and a quarter. Let's 
It's just very unusual. It is. It is about, let's see, by about an inch and a half. And it's got a beautiful band there with the Y. It's very pretty. Okay. Put that there. Eh, it wants to fall down. So is that other one. Okay, the next one I have, I was hoping it was Iolite or something like that, but I don't think so. This is probably glass, but we will test it anyway. Let's see if I can get it on the stone. Did it move? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm going to have to take a cough drop. Um, it started raining. Now I'm starting to get stopped up that quick. Okay. That didn't move. So I'm pretty sure this is glass, that it is a very pretty lilac purple. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, the maple, I'm allergic to maple and grass. And my maple tree is budding. So this is a beautiful little cluster of CZs, probably lilac colored. And this beautiful design. This is right at, let's do it that way. This is about a seven and a half. Okay. Yeah, this is a gorgeous ring. Kind of stands out. It would be really pretty for Easter because of the color. And I'll do 40 on this one. Gee, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to try to put on that. Well, I can take this one off easier, I think. <laughs> okay, this is a sterling verme ring with a CZ, kind of a flowering CZ. And this thing is gorgeous. The gold tone is fabulous. It's not scratched in any way. It's not scratched. And this thing is just a little fun ring. Um just beautiful. It's a thicker band. That is the inside. Let me read. It's 925 China, CZ 925 China. And there is a cartouche, but I have no idea <coughs> <coughs> what it is. Isn't that pretty? So for the verme, this is definitely looks like gold. It's definitely gold looking. So it's probably 14K over. Let me show you. Let me see here. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Um, see how close it is to that gold tone? That's a 14K. So, this is a beautiful ring. So, let's put 30 on it, because I know you guys are not verme lovers, or you don't understand that um, some of you, I know a lot of you know about verme. But this is just a sterling silver ring, but it has an etched coating, not etched. Has a bake like a baked on coating of gold. Whether it's 10 carat, 12 carat, 14 carat. It's kind of like electroplated. Or this could be gold filled. I do not have a clue. But it's very soft and feels really nice. It's not a cheap ring in any way, shape, or form. It's very pretty. So let's do 30 on this one. No, no, let's do 25. Maybe if somebody gets it and they'll see how much they like it, they'll start liking Verme better. Verme is cool. Okay, this is my beautiful little um, amber ring. I have not sold yet. Look at what it makes my nails fluoresce. 
So there's that, a little amber. It's in a beautiful little setting. I call it my kidney. My little kidney or amoeba setting. It's very, very pretty. Look at that. These are really popular. Amber is right at the moment. It kind of went out. Now it's come back in. This one has 925, but I don't see a cartouche, which is the maker. So let's do 32 on this one. Okay, beautiful. The last ring that I have is called a posy ring. I guess it's kind of a European thing or a Celtic thing or it is this is a thick band. This is thick. And it says love, 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 love all the way around it. This would be a nice knuckle ring. Because that fits there on me. And with these bands, what happens is they kind of make a little I don't know if you can see it. They make a little indentation, especially if you've got those knuckles like I do that stick out. You see how that just kind of, it goes right over that little knuckle. So, this is just cute as it can be. I don't know what it says, if it says anything. It says S-T-E-R, and I do not no, what it says. It says something, but it says dot, dot, dot. I swear. It's got a couple dots. That's all I can see. But I'll show you how thick it is. It's thick. Very nice. So if it was there as a, um, you wear it as a pinky ring, um, it is actually a size, let's see, it's about a five and a quarter, and it does, let's just say between five and five and a quarter. It will not give, and it is thicker, as you can see, but we'll say right at five, maybe even five and a quarter, and we'll do 25 on it. It's a nice little hunk. Okay, we're going to stop at 42 minutes. Don't forget to give me a wonderful thumbs up. I'm so thrilled. We are on. Um, don't do that. Give me a thumbs up. I'm so thrilled. We're almost at 600. I know people that are at 6,000, but you know what? That's okay. Because you girls are wonderful. You girls and guys. And, um. We will get back into some vintage tonight. I've got it all ready. I'll actually show it to you if you want to see it. It's all right here. Woo! Yeah. So, I'll be all ready to go. And we shall see you guys tomorrow. Or probably tonight. So, we will go ahead and get off here. Have a nice day. Nice evening. Um, it's still raining here, so hopefully it'll start drying up. And we'll have a wonderful weekend coming up. And um, I think the only thing we've got going is Chanel has a doctor tomorrow, and the dogs go for groomings on Thursday. And the weekend is pretty open. So we will talk to you guys later on. Stay well, stay blessed. Say prayers for Ukraine.